Okay. Well, good morning, everyone. This is a continuing series of interviews that we are having at Bay Area Houston Economic Partnership post many of our International Maritime Advisory Committee meetings. This morning, we're thrilled to have Dr. Phil Bedient from Rice University with us. And Phil has just concluded giving a presentation to our IMAC committee on some of the work that he's been doing over the last several years with the S-Speed Center. So Dr. Bedient, thank you very much for being here this morning. We really sure. appreciate you coming down. Just a couple of questions concerning your work over the last several years. First of all, what is the S-Speed Center? Well, uh, and by the way, we just call it the Speed Center. It just okay. happens to have two S's. Uh, but it's a severe storm prediction center and, and disaster center. And uh, this formed out of the, uh, what we learned from Katrina and Rita. And, and then it was actually funded by the Houston Endowment in uh, 2009 and has been continuously funded since then. And of course, Ike occurred and then uh, we, we've been kind of tracking on on sort of lessons learned from Ike and then proposals for how to improve the resiliency of the uh, Houston Galveston area. Excellent. Well, very good. So we're almost to our five-year anniversary of the impact of Hurricane Ike when it came on shore in September of 2008. So you guys have been working on many of these issues for some time now. Are we getting close to arriving at some potential solutions to help solve some of our surge challenges in this area? Well, there are a number of proposals out there, and, and of course these are, these are long-term uh, endeavors, but we have been working for a couple of years, at least within the Speed Center, and one of our main proposals um, is, is the protection of the Houston Ship Channel with, with a surge gate at the end of the Ship Channel. Uh, that protects that part, and again, that is due to a statement and a, and, a, and, a, and a fact that was sent out that said that if the ship channel took a direct hit from a hurricane, we would be looking at about $60 billion hit to the national economy. We think that a gate can be built in and around that area and operated uh, and, and can, be, can be in place in a relatively short period of time um, and, and for a reasonable cost of about a billion dollars, which is of course a huge amount of money, but it pales in comparison to, for example, the money that was spent and has been spent in New Orleans and is getting ready to be spent uh, in New York. Right, excellent. All right, and, and finally, maybe just some of the immediate next steps that you're going to be working on at the Speed Center, and then potential opportunity for collaboration with other groups around the region. Uh, for instance, Texas a and University Galveston and Dr. Uh, Bill Merrill and what he's been doing down at uh, TAMU Galveston. So our, our next steps, I think, over the next uh, few months, we are actually uh, beginning to do preliminary engineering designs on this gate. We're actually uh, getting ready to um, uh, look at, at developing some political carriers for this uh, in information up in the Houston area. We have support now from the port mm -hmm. and also from the mayor, and uh, we're, we're hoping that those are, those are gonna, gonna work out for us. Uh, in addition, I think that um, we will spend much of the fall, we've got a big meeting at Rice in September, the five-year anniversary, and then we've got another set of meetings set, and we hope to have some workshops down in the Clear Lake area to, to, bring, to bring folks in, and, and again, as a university, our job is to educate. And then finally, uh, I think our connections with uh, Dr. Merrill and, and his group down at A&M Galveston, we've, we've actually been connected with them for several years. And we're now beginning to uh, work in concert together, uh, and they're a valued member of the team. Excellent. Well, once again, thank you very much for your time this you morning. We absolutely look forward to working together with you and Rice and the Speed Center. Great. So this concludes our interview. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.